Hello everyone, meteorologist Raquel Dominguez here on this Thursday. We are so close to the weekend, waking up to a light layer of frost this morning. Shouldn't take too long to take care of that, maybe less than a minute. That's what you run into on your way to work. But right now it's a beautiful start to the day. Still dark out there. Temperatures near 30 degrees. Feels like 30. Winds are calm as well. For most parts of our area, we're sitting in the 20s and we're sitting in the 30s. A mixture of both. But one thing's for sure, we're all below freezing to start off the day. Later today, those temperatures will double. This is certainly a huge warm up since what we saw at the beginning of the work week with a high near 40. 45. Now we're jumping to near 60 degrees for our daytime highs this is around 10 degrees above where we should be for this time of year. So it is a cold start right now, but later today it's going to feel more like spring. We're at 32 by 5 a.m. Then we're at 40 degrees by 9. Temperatures today will sit in the upper 50s. It's going to feel nice, warm, and not to mention sunny. We're sunny actually for about the next two days or so today and tomorrow going to be really, really nice. So there's that green light for our Fast Friday's car wash forecast. Then heading into Saturday, we're running into some afternoon showers, which we really do need across most parts of our viewing area. So here's what that looks like. Clouds roll in ahead of this frontal boundary Saturday morning, Saturday afternoon, especially into Saturday evening. We'll see a couple of very isolated spotty showers lingering in the area through Sunday morning as well, then becoming more stray into Sunday afternoon. Either way, Monday looks mostly dry, but again, we really do need this rain. Most parts of our region are under some level of drought, especially for those folks in southern Tennessee. They're under an extreme drought there, but for us here in the south central Kentucky area, we really haven't seen much of an improvement over the past couple of days. So we'll take any rain that we can get, especially for all of those locations showing some color. That's where we're seeing a level of rainfall fall deficit. Here's a full look at that seven day forecast. Temperatures near 60 degrees for today. Then we're at 62 for Friday and Saturday. Remember a couple of showers going to roll in, especially Saturday evening through early Sunday morning. It's not going to be an all out washout, but you will need the rain gear throughout that time frame, especially for those church goers could run into a couple of very isolated spotty showers. By Monday, we're turning dry highs near 52. Then we stay in the 50s through Tuesday. Quite cool there. And then by Wednesday, we jump back to the mid-50s with a few clouds expected by then.